If you're going to be working on removing bubbles from the barrel, the best tool you can ask for is the Dremel rotating tool with a number of different heads. Now, I never use this one. This is a cutting head. But I would use these sand discs on top of, you know, this tool right here. Um, I don't use something like this to drill into air bubbles and then widen around the hole. Now sometimes you're going to get some imperfections like this. And I'm going to show you how you can sand that right down and pour on top of it. And for that I'm going to use the quarter sheet sander with 220. And I'm just going to do it lightly at first. I'm going to take a look and see where any imperfections might be. I've still got a little bit right here, so I'm going to do more sanding there, maybe a little bit more here as well. Now I'm using the good stuff. The earlier pour was with the last bit that I had of a product that I don't like, and you can see that there's two layers here, but you don't get that emulsion that you saw the first time. This is from Specialty Resin and Chemical. Check out their website, or there's their phone number, and their website is specialtyresin.com. It's a really good product. Now I'm going to mix this up for three minutes. Alexis. I'm just going to use my cup, spread it out. Gravity is going to take over. I want to make sure that I've got some all the way around the sides. Being careful not to introduce any more bubbles and now I'm just going to tilt the barrel around and spread this stuff I'm concerned about so now we have a perfect surface no air bubbles and we're just going to let it cure but I'm going to come back in a few minutes just to make sure that no bubbles have come about this this is a thermal re <laughs> exothermic reaction so if you were just to let these two compounds sit in their plastic cup for a while and came back after 10 minutes. That'd be pretty hot. So that's the source of the bubbles. So you want to be coming back and just checking. I'm concerned about So now we have a perfect surface. No air bubbles. And we're just going to let it cure. But I'm going to come back in a few minutes just to make sure that no bubbles have come about. This, this is a thermal... Re <laughs> exothermic reaction. So if you were just to let these two compounds sit in their plastic cup for a while and came back after 10 minutes, that'd be pretty hot. So that's the source of the bubbles. So you want to be coming back and just checking.